Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksweb.com. Before I start, if you have anything to suggest to me, anything you think I should be checking out, any feedback or anything else, then please let me know at mobilephone2003 at gmail.com. Okay, so this is going to be a review of Growl, but it's not going to be Growl for OS X. You can actually get Growl for Windows. It's a system-wide notification tool. I currently have mine running in the system tray, and I'm just going to walk you through it. So you can see we have Growl running. You can start out a login. You can mute the sounds. In the applications area, you'll notice that there is nothing. It comes blank. You have to go to their site to download applications for it. Notice that these are all standard ones you'd expect with a notification tool. You've got Firefox, Feeds, Google Reader, Google Wave, Facebook, iTunes, you've even got uTorrent, things like that. So it's definitely worth checking out, but notice that each one, as I hover over them, they're all from different websites. So any of these websites could go down. So if I was to suggest anything to them, I'd have a central place where you can actually download these just in case any of these decide to go down. So when you do get them, you end up with a standard setup file and you run it like a standard setup program and then you end up with a nice little shortcut. So what happens is when you start it, as you can see, it's now registered itself inside it. It's actually got a separate thing here inside the system tray. Some of you may not like that. And also it has itself a, se a separate process as well. If I find growl, there we go, growlextras.feedmonitor.exe. So some of you guys may not like that, but when you go click on it, you can obviously customize everything as you wish. So yeah, next thing is the displays. This is more like the skins that you expect. As if I preview, this is the one I have. I downloaded this. This involves you going to this little link here, going to the site, downloading it, unzipping it, putting it into programs and, uh, sorry, program files growl and then displays I believe unzipping it making sure it's in a folder so it's quite a lot of work to go through again I'd like to see this some sort of easier way to do this some sort of automation or something um, and I've noticed that it has find and install additional displays yet it doesn't on this page have find and install applications so that is another thing I'd like to do maybe a bit of feedback there for the people at growl one thing I really like about this in the network area is that you can forward notifications to other things not just computers here if you click the plus thing you can actually notify another computer which will then in turn have to subscribe to notifications or you can forward it to an iPhone as you can see here Oops. you can also do it to Twitter and you can do it to an email account so if you're away from your computer and you want to know as soon as something finishes downloading or something on Firefox or something like that then you can simply connect to a Twitter set up an account with it and you can find out on your phone while you are away so that's pretty cool stuff in the security area you can require a password allow network notifications blah 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 in the history it'll tell you everything you can group it by date and there's the about page so this is pretty much what Graph for Windows is so you have to go to the website to download all the different applications and they do run as separate processes and for that reason I'd like to say that it's very functional but in terms of usability it could be improved so I'd have to give this an 8.5 out of 10. A very nice application but does need a little bit of work. So thanks for watching this video. Any more reviews check them out at dunksweb.com forward slash reviews. Uh, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.